Welcome back to the Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at patching fixtures and how to control them using live DMX output from a lighting console. For the purpose, I've prepared a small show file where I have three profiles rigged on a truss front of house, focused on a piano on the apron of a stage. The first thing we're going to look at is how to patch the fixtures. I have two methods I want to show you, and the first one is based on drag and drop. The first thing I want to do then is go to the Universes tab and select the DMX universe that I want to patch the fixtures to. Now I can simply select the fixtures and use the drag and drop button with a small arrow inside to drag the fixture onto a DMX channel of choice. As you can see, the fixture is now patched on channel 1. Now I can also select multiple fixtures, either by dragging around the fixtures I want to patch, which means they will be patched in a left to right order, or I can select them manually using shift and clicking on the fixtures in the order I want to patch them, and then drag them all together onto the start channel I want to use. Now, because I selected more than one fixture at a time here, I get some patch options. I would encourage you to try them out. You can create overlapping patch. You can create patch with spacing between the fixtures. But for this example, I'll simply hit patch, which patches them consecutively in the most common way you would expect. Now, the other way of patching I wanted to show you is called sequential patching. So before I do that, I'm going to unpatch the fixtures. So I select them, I go to the cogwheel button, and I use the unpatch command, which has unpatched them from the DMX universe. Now I will use the sequential patch command. Now the same patch options dialog that we saw before pops up, because Capture needs us to specify the start address that we want to patch to. I'm going to be patching them on DMX channel 1. I press patch, and the fixtures are patched starting on channel 1 onwards on universe A. The next thing I want to show you is how to control the fixtures using live DMX output from a lighting console. Now you could use virtually any lighting console for this, and most of the lighting consoles on the market have offline programmers that you can use. And I will be using LSC's Clarity software as an example in this tutorial. So the first thing I need to make sure is that in the console I have a patch that matches the patch in Capture. This ensures the DMX values end up on the right channels and we're controlling the lights as we're expecting them to behave. My second step is choosing a method of transferring the DMX to capture. Clarity offers two options, ArtNet and Streaming ACN. We tend to recommend Streaming ACN over ArtNet, so I will select Streaming ACN, go with the default options. And now we can actually see in Capture, in the external universe column, that it reads SACN universe 1. So this shows that Capture is now receiving DMX from Clarity. So if I go into the programmer here and move the dimmer levels, we can see the DMX values coming into Capture. And of course, if I switch one of the views into live mode, the beams visualize as I would expect when I move the intensity sliders here. I would also like to point out that by double clicking on the external universe property, it is possible to override the default one-to-one -one patching of universes. So if for whatever reason you have universes coming out of the console in another order than you have in the capture project, this is where you would go in and adjust that situation. But by default, that's not something you need to, to 
pay any attention to actually. So thanks for watching and uh, see you soon in the next episode.